Hello guys, a new tutorial part 6 uh, how to inherit template and customize so this is a product uh, that product I will uh, customize uh, this product I will inherit uh, this template uh, this record and then I will add the uh, field so follow me so this is a uh, product dot product I will create first a uh, new model and then I will uh, inherit uh, here the new model I will inherit the product here I mean ok let's start so let's open terminal and then uh, give uh, the location for uh, python path because I am in windows but uh, you will find a new tutorial we will find a tutorial uh, on the description of the video which show you how to create model on auto 12 ok go to auto 12 installation and give uh, the path for python installation and then uh, give the path for auto installation auto bin i mean ok where is it this is auto bin server auto bin and then a scaffold name of a new model my customize uh, my customized template template for product and then uh, the path for uh, the new model the location of your project where is it? charm empty software and this is uh, the path and enter there is error on the path Okay, the new model is created now. This is my new model. And uh, where is it here? Let's refresh the project. So uh, this is uh, the new model. So uh, let's uh, first inherit from uh, project and then add uh, the new uh, field which we want to add. So let's uh, uncomment uh, this. So now I need to create a new model. So let's delete this and here inherit and here are the name of uh, object product dot product because uh, well, I will change on product and then here uh, write uh, write the new name of field which you want to add. For example, uh, let's add. Uh, price 3 filled float string price 3 let's add for example let's add uh, for example uh, other fields dot char string other Okay, string other and uh, then uh, let's uh, go to the view XML. Okay, let's uh, 
create a new view, new file, product, extend dot xml and uh, okay I want to add for on git and then go to manifest and add uh, your view view and it is good now Okay, now let's go inside. Let's uh, copy from uh, an old example. Uh, this is for my old project. Let's copy this, and we will uh, do update. Okay, let's go to project. And open uh, the debug uh, mod. So let's add uh, this. And uh, go to here and edit uh, view form. So uh, this is uh, my model product dot uh, product. Uh, this is uh, the view name and this is uh, the external ID for. Uh, this record so I will update uh, on the form for uh, product.product .product. so let's uh, take the external ID and copy okay uh, this is uh, my record ID I give the name which I want view form product extend and the model must be er dot uh, view and the uh, field name you can uh, give which you want product product inherit and uh, the name of model my model uh, my model is uh, product dot product and here inherit id which uh, which record I want to inherit? Uh, I want to inherit uh, this. So this is which I had copied. Okay, product dot product dot uh, normal form view, and uh, now we go to which place we want to add. So for example. Uh, Let's add it uh, after uh, after cost. So the field is called it the standard price. So so let's uh, use the XPath. Uh, let's delete this. And so XPath expression slash slash field. I will show you. So go again here. Center. This is uh, the field. The name of field. Field name. Compute price. Applied sequence price. So this is the five field name. And uh, here my field name is called it. Uh, is called it standard price. So. I will replace it. Uh, I will replace with uh, XPath uh, with uh, XPath uh, just uh, after this field. So name standard price and position after and you can add uh, after or before or inside for another example and here uh, give uh, the field name I want to add uh, price 3 this is a uh, price 3 okay I had finished 
now let's uh, update uh, the model and uh, we must uh, restart uh, our server because uh, we had to write uh, a python code so let's go to the server and uh, install the model because uh, it is new so let's uh, install before okay go to application and update application list My model is called My Customized Template for Product Customize Wait Where is my model? And this is my model So click on install and waiting for installation and then go to product and uh, show if uh, the field was added or not and let's edit and this is the field but uh, there is no string because we must uh, because we must add the label label can can copy uh, from a standard order label for and here are the name price 3 and uh, let's update now let's update uh, again the model But you can update uh, directly he from here. Let's copy the name of uh, model. And now I restart uh, with uh, the new model. And waiting for restart. There is an error. Product product does not exist on registry. We must add a product on the depends and restart again. Okay, the error was uh, close uh, and edit, and this is uh, the name price three. So this is is how to inherit uh, from uh, record and uh, adding a field. You can uh, follow the same step for inherit uh, from another uh, model, like a blog post or other. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next tutorial. Goodbye.